All right, this is what I need to do in this video. Breathe in and breathe out because this video is gonna be so full. This is my 2022 roundup of skincare. And this is gonna be a very full video, but I wanted to make sure that I got it out for you so that you can see what I have loved in 22 and using on my skin and that I feel like has made such a huge difference. Let's go friends. I'm so glad that you're with me today. We always talk about what I have on for a shirt. This is a pretty sweater that I have on, crisscross detail, V-neck, very low. You can wear this in the front or the back. I chose to wear it in the front and I'm fiddling with it all, all the day long. So you might want to switch it around and use it in the back or just wear, you know, a little tank top. There. Also paired it with one of my new favorites for a couple little necklaces that come together. And then I paired it with a set of earrings that are rhinestone and gold just so pretty i love this everything that i'm wearing my necklaces my fingernail polish all of my rings my makeup everything that'll all be listed down below in the description box and also along with the numbering system that we have one through however many products that we get through there will be a product next to the number that is on the screen right here along with its link and you'll be able to shop that way it'll have all the information that you need down there all right, let's get into talking about what I found this year that has really, really impressed me for skincare. I'm gonna to talk to you first about supplements. So big disclaimer, do not do any supplements without talking to your doctor. This is so important. You have to be in touch with your doctor. Maybe some of your medications might be counterintuitive with any of your supplements. So this is what i take but please 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 talk to your doctor before you start on any supplements and do not take my word for it so let's just talk about what i take and yes i know there's controversy surrounding everything so if you don't agree with this that's okay i'm all right with you not agreeing with it and i'm happy to listen to whatever you do take down below let's just all be really kind to each other and be very respectful to each other for the choices that we make this is just what works for me and i'm just one woman on the internet i recently from my doctor have been talked to about using a really good vitamin a vitamin e vitamin c supplement now if you think about those three vitamins those are the three powerhouse supplements for your skin in serums when you're putting them on vitamin a is retin-a vitamin c is one that we all put on for darkness for aging, for protection, or an antioxidant. And then vitamin E is a very highly protective vitamin. It's a healing vitamin. It's a vitamin that we all need. So I have recently bought this one. This is vitamin code raw vitamin E and it has A, D, K, and selenium in it. And so these are very important vitamins. I think that these are the vitamins that you need to be taken. This one doesn't have C in it. I take my vitamin C in another way. That's a whole other thing. I actually take liposomal vitamin C. If you're interested in that, I'll try to put it right below this one. So definitely love those. I also do take from City Beauty. Now, I'm gonna show you two here. And I wanna tell you, you do not need to take both of these. I recently came across this one. This one, let me just tell you, this is a 40 day supply of cell food, essential silica, silica formula, foundational support for nails, hair, skin, teeth, bones, joint, muscles, connective tissue, gums, heart, brain function, helps accelerate the body's natural recovery time, gluten-free dietary supplement. It's liquid, it goes into water or whatever you drink, and this is really good. I have discovered this whole cell food line and I'm liking it a whole lot, but I have for years and years taken the city beauty complete skin restore that promotes firm and smooth and radiance in our hair skin and nails it has chlorella resveratrol probably saying all these wrong and quercetin. Well, i can't say that one at all put it up on the screen so it really supports the healthy tissue in your body and it helps college helps support collagen turnover so this one i've been taking for a long time and i really do love these vitamins they i wait until they go on their 40 percent off or their 50 percent off and i stock up for the year i can notice a difference in how my nails grow my hair grows and whether or not my skin is having the bounce that it's supposed to have or having that luster 
uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I really love that. It's the Hada Labo Cleansing Oil for me. This takes off all of my eye makeup, any stubborn makeup, and it just really melts everything. And I love this stuff. I've been using it for years, either this or I use the Good Molecules Cleansing Balm. One of those two are gonna be what I take my makeup off with. Inexpensive, does the job, love them both. I was recently actually sent this cleanser from City Beauty. It's the Youth Rejuvenating Cleanser. This does have a lot of cleansers in it that are supposed to help with dead skin and sloughing off all of the impurities and everything like that. I use this morning and night. The only thing that I look for in a cleanser is, is it going to leave my skin feeling clean? So whatever I put on it afterwards is is going to be able to sink in. So I don't want a film on there. I don't want a moisturizing cleanser. I want something that's really gonna make my skin feel clean and prep it for the next step, which for me is always some sort of an essence. And when I'm talking about at night, right now I've been using the Tatcha The Essence and I just feel like this preps my skin and it really hydrates my skin and gets it ready for any serums or anything I'm going to be using next. And I have a whole video on essences. I think that they are fantastic. I've used them for years and I just feel like you can't go wrong when you're using an essence because it's a very thin product. When you're putting product on top of product on top of product for skincare, you don't want something that's so heavy that nothing else can penetrate afterwards. This is a very light product, very watery, and yet your skin feels very hydrated afterwards. And I, I really like that Tatcha. So while I'm letting that essence set on my skin from Tatcha, I'll go in with my very favorite lash serum of all time. And again, if you've been with me, this is not anything new. This is something that I've been using probably for the past seven years. X Lash Serum. No, it's not X Lax. This is an eyelash growth serum that I got sent when I was a very, very brand new influencer. I got sent the X Lash Pro Serum Growth for Eyelashes. And I've been using it ever since and buying it for myself ever since. And this is a bigger tube. So even though this tube is $50, this tube is gonna last you somewhere around six months. I just love it. It's chocked full of really good ingredients. It has natural ingredients and the scientific ingredients in it or the chemical ingredients in it that work. And they work in conjunction with each other and they made my eyelashes look thick and lush and longer than they possibly ever could in the past. I know that I'm gonna get somebody asked, why didn't you just demo this? It's usually because of my health issues. On days like today, when I'm not feeling the greatest, it's just easier for me to show you products and then talk to you about how I do it. So what I'll do is down in the description box where I put all of it, I will just put in order how I do the morning routine and then how I do the nighttime routine so that you kind of have that as a reference. But the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to use a bifida and a galactomyces serum or an essence. So right now I'm working through this one. It's the secret key galactomyces essence. And this one in particular is the same exact one as SK2. It's the galactomyces. They have 90%. This has 90%. I've had people argue with me over whether or not this is a dupe because of the way that it penetrates and blah, blah, blah. They formulated this exactly the same, just so you know. I, and you know, it really, if, if you love the SK2 and you really can't stand the thought of this, you know, not being exactly what that is, keep using the SK2. I personally just wanted to save $75 a bottle. So I use this one because I have done my research in it. But when this is gone, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to using the Benton Fermentation Essence. The reason is, is because I've talked to you all so much about Cranicell Bifida, which is the same as Estee Lauder Night Repair and Lancome Genifique. Same exact product, okay? But it has more bifida in it. And bifida is a fermentation process that brightens and helps with wrinkles and helps with texture and just makes our skin soft. It's one of those fermentation processes that is used in so, so many skincare items. This one is something like 60% bifida, 30% galactomyces, 10% something else. It's just full of wonderful ingredients. It's serum-like, so it's a little bit heavier, but I do use this every single night, no matter what. But I'll tell you what I do in conjunction with this. I'll put it in my hand, and then I'll take one of the Ordinaries. This is the niacinamide powder. There's a little scoop inside of here with a little spoon, and I'll take one scoop of that. I'll put it in my hand with this, work it together until all of the little granules are dissolved out of the niacinamide, and then I'll put it on my skin. 
super brightening oh my goodness my skin has gotten so bright and it's helped my dark spots and i'm just loving what these two are doing together and then right after that i go in with the skin lifting booster from city beauty and this is a firming treatment and i'll just put this along my gel up here in the neck where i get this waddle going thing right here and i'll put a little bit around this area right here where i feel like it's just sinking a little bit and you know falling down so this i feel like is really helping with the firmness of my skin but I use a very minute amount of it. I'm very sparing with it. And I just use a couple drops and I really work it in after I've used the bifida and just kind of work them all together. And then I go in with the new intense hydration cream from Refer. This is so nice. I've been enjoying this so much. I did get this one sent to me too, but man, I'm repurchasing this one, no problem. This is a thicker cream that keeps my skin feeling so hydrated and yet it doesn't feel super heavy. I love using this on my hands as a hand cream all day long. It's just a great cream, super duper hydrating and it holds all of the serums and everything that I've done in on my skin. So I'm really liking that. Now you're probably all wondering, well, what do you you use Melissa as a Retin-A product. Okay, here's where it gets a little bit different. On nights when I'm not using my super heavy duty retinol product, I use two products from The Ordinary. And one is a vitamin C product and the other one is a retinol pro retinoid product. And they're both oils, ascorbyl tetrasopalmate solution, 20% in vitamin F. That is a vitamin C product. And then this is the Grenactive Retinoid 5% in Squalane. So I use four or five drops of each of these, mix them together, and then I'll pat them all over my face, all over everything that I've done. So that is what goes on last. And then very, very last, yes, I know this is a lot. I hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. You don't need all of this. This is what I do for a living. This is what I do to try things out. This is what has worked out really good for me. You don't need all of this. Pick one, pick two, pick what your skin concern is and then go ahead and use that. So the last thing is my Suko Yakasuhara cream. This is a cream that is thick and heavy and feels like Vaseline just on the tiny bit lighter side of Vaseline. I will take this and I will slather around my eyes. And I mean, my eyes are coated and it feels like they're goopy and nasty. And then I'll just kind of feather it out into all this area and I'll put it over across my lip and I'll put it on my neck. It is sticky and it is not for everybody, but for me and my dry skin, I'll wake up in the morning and it will feel, my skin will feel tacky and hydrated. And there is nothing better to me than to feel that in the morning. So this this is this is probably my 50th jar of that and this is I'm not joking when I say that because I buy this every other month I buy this product every other month that's how much I love it because if I've got a patch of dry skin if my hands are dry if my face is dry anything this is gonna fix it I love that stuff so much okay morning time what do I do oh wait a minute Let's talk about my heavy duty retinol first of all this is very very expensive and I I get really feeling guilty when I talk about this product because it's a product that I know is expensive and I know that a lot of you would struggle to buy it. So let me tell you how I bought it because I struggled to buy it too. It's not cheap. So this is the Truth Treatments Regenerating 5% Retinol Gel. And you can see right here, very thick product again. This is um, like a jelly product, like a petroleum jelly product. That's what it that's how it feels when it comes out. But what you can also see is, do you see how much has gone in there? I'm like, I probably got a quarter of the bottle left. I've had this for over a year. So this bottle, even though it cost me a lot of money, I've had it for over a year and it's last me. Now, how I bought it is I bought it on sale for one thing. I got it at a 30% off discount. And then the other thing is I got to buy it on, I think it was after pay or a firm where I paid for it for an over two month period. You know, every two weeks you pay a quarter of it. So that's how I actually got to buy this. I'm so glad that I took this, the plunge and did this because the regular Retin-A Tretinoin, I was on for years. I was on it for six years, but I had to go off of it because number one, my eyes were so irritated. And even though I wasn't putting it anywhere near my eyes, it would still travel and it would end up just really hurting my eyes. And it also hurt around my lips and it would settle into this area and it would settle around my nose. I was being very careful. I was being very, you know, sparing with it. I was mixing it in with moisturizers. I was only using it a few days 
days, you know, a week, sometimes few days a month if I was irritated. And I still was not tolerating it. But when I went to this, oh my goodness. So now I'm using this twice a week and I never ever have any irritation with it. And it's such a nice product. And personally, just my own personal opinion, I have seen better results with this in a year than I did in the five years I was using retinol. That's just my own personal opinion. You guys ask me all the time what I'm doing different and I hesitate so much to talk about these kind of products because I do feel guilty that it costs so much. I wanna be able to say, oh, you can get this kind of skin if you're using a $20 product. I haven't. I haven't been able to get that, this kind of skin from another product. So this is what I say for me works. It might not be for you. You might not be able to afford it. These kinds of products from The Ordinary, I do feel like make a change. You just have to wait longer to see the kind of change that you would with something that is a little bit more stronger. This is the most powerful percentage that you can they put on the market right now that you can get without a prescription, I should say. It's just one of those ones that I feel like has made this gargantuan change. That's my nighttime stuff. Yes, I know that's a lot. And I, okay, breathe. Like I said at the beginning, breathe. Okay, we're good. Let's go to the morning. In the morning, I'm gonna get back out my cleanser, whatever that cleanser is, and I'm going to use it. You can use a scrub if you want to here, or you know, if you choose not to use a scrub, but I also trade off and use some sort of a chemical peel at times too. This is the one that I got a while back from LMS, and it's the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads, and there's 60 of them in here. I don't use this every morning, so this has lasted me a long time. I'm about halfway through, and I use this maybe three, four times a week. I use this immediately after I cleanse, and I don't use this on days when I'm using a physical exfoliant. So if I'm gonna use my wash rag and scrub my face and get the dead skin off, I'm not gonna use this because that's two irritants in a row, right? So I'm gonna be very careful when I use this. I'm gonna use it on days when my skin feels healthy and I feel like I can really tolerate tolerate it because as I get older, my skin's getting more sensitive. Okay, so now what do I go in with next? Guess what? Out comes the Tatcha again. And I use that again to start my skincare and to make my skin feel really fresh and alive and lovely. Let it set for a couple of minutes and then I go in with the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner that has licorice root. What else does it have in it besides licorice root? It has Arbutin Niacinamide and licorice root. And yeah, I've been using this one since it came out five or six years ago as well. When I started to use this, I visibly noticed my pores diminishing within weeks. And I thought I was nuts. And then my friend Mary from Glitzy Fritzy said the same thing. And I was like, I'm not crazy. This really does work like that. So yeah, this is definite a definite must for me every single morning. It's one of those ones that I love so much. And if you're wondering how long I wait between doing a chemical part and starting my skincare, I would say it's usually 10 minutes if I can spare that much time. Once I do the niacinamide brightening toner, then I'm gonna go in with my vitamin C for the day. I've used the timeless vitamin C for, gosh, really long time. Love this stuff, think it's great. And then I'm gonna go in with my new favorite, one of my new favorites that you started me on, one of you guys did, is this, it's also from Benton. It's the Snail Bee High Content Skin. So this has, snail mucin in it which is the snail secretion filtrate it has camilla leaf water in it and it has bee venom in it and so it's got these botanicals in it that work so good i've been loving this just simply because i've been noticing that my skin just feels a little bit firmer and i'm just noticing a lot more hydration throughout the day so this is, is a new addition to me probably within the last six weeks to two months so i can't really tell you the long-term benefits of this yet but so far, so good. It's been really great. And then uh, the last step that I follow up with is my Sukoyaka Suhada. This is my urea moisture lotion. Before I tell you these, I should tell you that I also do a Benton fermentation eye cream on my eyes. This has bifida and galactomyces in it. Sorry about the phone. And then I'll go in with these. So I'll go in with the Sukoyaka Suhada urea lotion. This is not a lotion. It's an essence. You can see how watery it is. This has been going in and out of stock on Amazon for I can't tell you how long. And I know you've all been frustrated, but I did find another place that does sell it. It's a little bit more expensive, but if you're interested, you can get it uber, uber, uber hydration in a urea product. And then I go in with the urea eye cream from Suka Yakasuhara. Now I'm going to have somebody go 
Urea is a by byproduct of urine. I'm going to have somebody say that and somebody go, no, thank you. I'm not going to put that on my face. And okay, if, if I was putting urine on my face, I'd be grossed out too. This is manufactured in a lab to mimic the properties that the real urea has. So no, this does not have any urine in it whatsoever. So please put your mind at ease. All right, last step. This is the only sunscreen that I've been using for years and I finally decided that I'm gonna quit messing around and quit looking for other sunscreens because none of them work like this. This is the Dermatology Univ Universal Tinted Moisture SPF 46. This has mineral and chemical sunscreen in it, but it is a super moisturizer and I love putting it on after all these because it feels super duper hydrating. I know I'm getting protected, but dermatology, if you are listening to me, can you please find a cap that will stay on this sucker? Because I don't care where this is, if it's in my bag that I'm traveling, if it's in my cupboard, whatever, that little cap is going to slide off and go hide somewhere and I'm never going to have that cap again. And if I have to travel, this is going to be everywhere. So dermatology, I love you to pieces, but guys, figure out the cap system, please. I just, you know, I, I don't think it's too much to ask, but maybe it is. So anyway, that is my morning and my evening routine or my evening and my morning routine. I hope that you guys did enjoy seeing this. Thank you so much for watching. Please tell me what you're using that you feel like has made a huge difference in your skincare. I always want to know that. I, I watch a ton of videos just like you do because I'm always looking for what is best and I wanna know. Now, I'm going to disclaimer at the very end because I get somebody almost always talking to me at, at, on my video, your face is full of Botox. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna blow smoke up your butt. I have Botox. I have Botox here, I have Botox here, and I have Botox that's across my forehead. I decided to do Botox about a year ago, and I get people that are really disgusted with that when they hear that I do that because they feel like it negates that I use all of this skincare and that I could just do Botox and my skin would look great anyway. That is so not true. That does not address redness. It does not address dark spots. It does not address dark, uh, dullness or texture or big pores or any of that stuff. You have to continue on with some sort of a skincare regimen in order for your skin to look decent with Botox. Because if I didn't, you would notice that. You would not think that my skin was anything nice. Now, sure, I don't have wrinkles right here anymore, but I would have this whole rest of my face that looked weird if I didn't take care of it with my skincare. Now, I have been completely and totally transparent with you guys for a very long time that I've gotten Botox. This is not something that is new that I'm just announcing right now. You can go back and look at some of my other skincare videos. I really, I announced this when I got it and I, it's a personal choice. And I feel like, you know what, if there's any woman out there that wants to do whatever they do, you do you and I want to support women. I wanna see women supporting women and being kind to women. I love supporting you as my girlfriends and that's all I wanna do is make you happy and help give you some great information along the way. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and sticking with me today. We're winding 2022 down and 2023 is right around the corner and I hope it's gonna be a great one for all of us. I love you guys so very much. Take care of yourselves. See you in my next video. Bye-bye friends.